Hi, welcome. This video highlights the top vitamins and minerals that all women need in perimenopause and postmenopause to maintain optimal health. Menopause causes many changes to the body and mind, most of them unwanted, and proper nutrition has never been so important. At the top of the list is magnesium. This mineral is vital in menopause and most of us are not getting enough. If you suffer with muscle twitching, cramping, restless legs, mood swings, and anxiety, and want to maintain strong bones and a healthy heart and nervous system, eat with magnesium in mind and supplement what you're lacking. Great choices that provide plenty of magnesium are dark chocolate, avocados, nuts, seeds, legumes, whole grains, and bananas. When it comes to magnesium supplements, there are several options to choose from. I would avoid magnesium oxide because it's not highly absorbable, but all of the other types all hold benefits. I prefer magnesium glycinate, but magnesium malate, citrate, L3 and 8, and sulfate also known as Epsom salts, are all fantastic choices. Vitamin B12 is next. Deficiencies are linked to insomnia, shortness of breath, headaches, palpitations, nerve problems, GI issues, depression, and mental impairment, all of which are common issues in perimenopause and postmenopause. Great food sources of B12 are meat, eggs, dairy, and fortified products such as cereals. But for the vegans, picky eaters, and those who just want to ensure they're getting enough, a supplement is a good idea. Sublingual methylcobalamin is a great choice. Taking it a couple of times a week will ensure that your B12 levels are adequate. Unless, of course, you've been diagnosed with a severe deficiency. Number three is calcium. Ample calcium is essential in menopause. It's important for nerve impulse transmission, muscle contraction, strong bones and teeth, heart health, transport of nutrients, hormone balance, and the prevention of osteoporosis. But please do your best to try and get your calcium from food sources. Large amounts of supplemental calcium can be problematic. It's been shown to increase the risk for heart attack, stroke, and kidney stones. And it's often added to many of our foods. So taking more in pill form may end up doing more harm than good. Focus on calcium rich foods like yogurt, broccoli, almonds, cheese, dark leafy greens, and beans. Vitamin C makes the top seven as well. It's essential for a strong immune system, but its value in menopause goes well beyond that. Vitamin C plays a role in the creation of collagen, which decreases substantially when estrogen drops. Many of us are seeing the effects of low collagen on our skin in the form of sagging and wrinkling and feeling the effects of lack of collagen in our joints. Vitamin C also controls histamine, which is an asset to all of us tormented by itching and new or worsening allergies. It can be taken as a supplement, applied directly to the skin in the form of facial serums, or eaten in its natural form in foods like citrus fruits, melons, kiwis, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Number five is vitamin D. I believe everyone should be taking vitamin D in supplemental form, but it's especially important in menopause. This vitamin, which is actually a hormone, is involved in many processes, including regulating moods, helping to balance calcium and phosphorus, aiding in the formation of bones and teeth, helping muscles to contract and nerves to deliver their messages and supporting the immune system. If your menopause is going anything like mine, doing anything you possibly can to keep the nerves, muscles and immune system functioning optimally and maintaining strong bones is vital. The recommended daily intake is 600 to 800 international units daily, but some medical professionals suggest that 1,000 to 2,000 international units is more beneficial. Next are omega-3s. Estrogen loss often causes increases in inflammation, and that is a huge reason to ensure adequate levels of omega-3s in the body. It's anti-inflammatory. It's also good for combating anxiety and depression, lowering cholesterol and blood pressure, protecting the heart, and improving hot flashes and cognition, among other things. Flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, soya beans, and fatty fish are great sources of omega-3s, but it can be taken as a supplement as well. Fish oils have been known to cause digestive upset though, so if that's the case, try an algae-based supplement instead. Number seven is not quite a vitamin, but it is one of the most important nutrients in midlife. Digestion slows when estrogen decreases and cortisol rises in menopause, and fiber helps keep things moving smoothly. 
It also feeds your gut bacteria and helps keep your gut in tip-top shape, which is very important in menopause when mental health is affected. Most of your serotonin resides in your gut, so a healthy gut plays a role in ameliorating anxiety, low moods, and depression. During perimenopause, when estrogen dominance is an issue, fiber helps improve the metabolism and excretion of excess estrogen and lessens hormone imbalance. It also helps remove cholesterol, which is often high in menopause. Any plant food will provide you with fiber, but it can be taken as a supplement as well. Staying healthy and strong is often more challenging in midlife, but it is definitely doable. Optimal nutrition, in my opinion, is the number one tool in your toolkit to help you live your midlife in great health. I wish you all good health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.